Here at Melbourne Zoo, very exciting. We have just had eight new Gila monster babies hatch out. Very excitingly, one of the first times in the world this many have ever hatched from one clutch. The link between Gila monster venom and Ozempic Within the venom, lots of different compounds. One of them does control sort of appetite, blood sugar levels, stuff like that. So they have used it as sort of a diabetic medication as well as a weight loss supplement. The Gila monsters found towards Arizona down to Mexico in the Sonoran Desert area. Usually pink to orange with black stripes. They are a venomous lizard species, but considering this achievement, very exciting here at Melbourne Zoo. Our whole team is very happy with our achievements. Gila monster gets their name from, it's a bit of folklore from over in uh, North America where they're found, towards Arizona. Being a venomous lizard, a um, lot of misinformation for them in the past. People used to think they breed venom, stuff like that. They were pretty nasty. So got a bit of a nasty name with them, but they are a perfectly harmless lizard as long as you leave them alone. The Gila monsters, they are one of the few venomous lizard species on the world. Not deemed lethal to humans, but it is meant to be a pretty nasty bite. So wouldn't recommend being bit by one. Here at the Melbourne Zoo Reptile House, we currently have one of our younger individuals, a two-year-old out on display. He does like to cruise around most of the day, digging holes, investigating surroundings, or just having a nice bask under the heat.